So like y'all, I'm gonna read this again. Jeremiah 49 and 8, it says, Flee ye, turn back, dwell deep on the inhabitants of the Dan, for I will bring the calamity of Esau upon him the time that I will visit him. And that's why this is the time that you can't keep the so-called white man at your mouth, out your mouth. Why? Because this is the time where the Lord is gonna judge him. See, this is that appointed time Yahweh Shai was going to get rid of the wicked. You know, matter of fact, uh, is that Malachi? Yep, this is Malachi 4 and 1. For behold, the day come. See, that lets you know it was appointed day. See, the Lord got, you know, you know how just the regular person might have some, uh, 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 they calendar and they might have a certain date marked on the calendar. Well, it's a certain day that the Lord is going to overthrow the so-called white man. It's a certain like it's a certain day martial law going to take place. It's a certain day the money going to crash. It's a certain day the food, the famine actually going to fully blossom. You know, it's a certain day that destruction going to take place. So it says, "For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven, and all the proud see that's who it's for." Which is, that's one of the characteristics synonymous with the so-called white man. When you see the word pride, you can trade it in for e Esau. When you see the word wicked, you can trade that word Esau or even just the sword. All that goes back to Esau. This is, that was one of the nicknames for this nigga. Because he, he is pride embodied. You know? This nigga... Uh, you know, uh, the son rejects him because he, you know, the lack of melanin. And this nigga came up with SPF 150. Now he, now he sunbathing. That's pride. You know, and that's just scratching the surface. But the point is, that's one of the characteristics of the so-called white man. That's <laughs> oh, I like y'all about some outside. God damn. So like, I'm going to read this again. <laughs> It said, For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven, and all the proud, yeah, and all that do wickedly, which is uh, our people, because the ones that's going to be joined and torn are going to be thrust through as what? You have put on the covering of the so called white man. So now you're going to be judged too. That's just like you, all you got, all everybody got this, a nuclear, uh, New England Patriots jersey on, and you're going against the, the Philadelphia Eagles. Well, if you ain't, you ain't got the same uniform, you is the enemy. You are the opposer. So if you have joined, you have put on the uniform, this man, you know, by subscribing to these ways, you know, being more, trying to be more acclimated in this system, you are part of this well. You're going to get it as well. It says, shall be stubble, see? And the day that cometh, see, shall burn them up, said the Lord of hosts, that it shall... It shall lead them neither root nor branch. See, so many what? You ain't going to bounce back after this, man. You know? You're not going to bounce back after what you have by some else I have is going to do to you people, man. Especially so-called white man. See, when everything is set it down, when destruction takes place, that's it. The kingdom of heaven is going to be established then, man. You know? But the point is, is what? This is concerning Edom. This is why we always talk about this, man. Because this is a commandment. And he's the last obstacle before the kingdom is established. Of course we need this nigga to go. Of course we need destruction uh, 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 to take place. You know, the famine and, and as well as a plethora of other things to forward the downfall of America. Of course. Why? So the king can be established. And who's running America? So-called white man. Who's ruling the world? So-called white man. So they need to go, man. So this is Revelation 9. And... Um, Verse 15, and the four angels were loose, which were prepared for an hour and a day and a month and a year for to slay the third part of men. And who was the third part of man? The sons of perdition, the Edomites. So, of course, we're going to keep talking about this man because this is a time where he's going to get his judge. See, Cain never got his judge. Cain, it tells you, Cain, uh, <laughs> this nigga was on the run since Genesis, man. But now the corporate has been found. He has been uh, uh, indicted on all charges. And we're about to come into the sentencing stage where, you know, that destruction, the thousand years of slavery, and then ultimately, they're going to get burned up, man. You know? 
So yeah, I can just hold the air if I want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh, Ba'asham Yahweh Shai, Ba'asham Racha Kudash. I like to give double honors to the Apostle and Elders of Great Millstone. Shalom to the elect that he's wearing our true faith and sincerity. DTA, Abad Laval. Soon. Very soon.